like, oh, I'm eight bars behind now, kids. Every drummer has some kind of personal vendetta. <sighs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am a professional soul singer. Today on Soul Singer Discovers, together we're going to be discovering Well hello there my dudes, welcome back! Funny seeing you here! <laughs> I hope you're all well, I hope you're all having a wonderful day, you've had a tasty snack and a lie down and everything's good in your world and if it's not, send me the address of the person who has made it not good and I will kick the head in. That's a Glaswegian promise. Thank you again for all of your comments, all of your ideas about all the bands that we've been listening to. I love the tiny history lessons that happen in the comment section. God, I love them. I love anyone that's passionate about music. So if someone wants to be passionate with me about music in the comment section, you go right ahead, boo. I'll be here for it. Today, today we're going to be listening to Mashuga, and the song is Bleed. I don't really know anything about Mashuga. I know that Mashuga is my partner Levi is one of his favourite bands, like metal bands. And the first year we were dating, I tried to get him a Meshuggah t-shirt for Christmas um, and somehow managed to buy a small child's Meshuggah t-shirt. I didn't think that that would be a thing. And of course, when it came, it was tiny. <laughs> and I still have it because I, I can't bring myself to throw it out. I've seen some of the art and it scares me. Um... I have got the lyrics, as, as always, because I, I like to read through them. The first verse. Beams of fire sweep through my head, thrusts of pain increasingly engaged. Sensory receptors succumb, and now I know all the agony. I mean, to be honest, that kind of sounds like a hangover. <laughs> it's Bleed About a Hangover. I've heard snippets of, of my sugar of different songs that friends have played me. And I'm not gonna lie, it sounds like white hot noise. All the noise happening at all the same time. A cacophony of pots and pans. I'm ready. I, I, I don't know. So I think the best thing we can do here is just jump in. I think I'm going to get a lot of very heavy drums, very heavy guitar. And I think we're gonna be dealing with some more sc like scream singing some more like very sort of guttural singing um but let's step in kids let's do it and see what happens oh god <laughs> Okay, let's stop there. Let's stop there. <laughs> this is like a horror movie. Okay, I love horror movies, but this is very, 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 very scary. It's not very scary, that's ridiculous. But you know what I mean? It's like, oh! I am getting more and more into vocals, metal vocals. So as times went on, I've heard more examples of the kind of singing that happens in metal, that very sort of like um, aggressive, fry, false chord singing. Um, I'm starting to get used to it now, which is something I didn't think I was gonna get used to. I thought it was just gonna be really viscerally upsetting <laughs> every time I heard it. But now I'm getting used to it and I like that because when you get used to things, you can hear more detail in them. Okay, so so the lead singer's name is Jens Kidman. Jens Kidman. Um, Jens Kidman's voice sounds very typical, I think, for a lot of metal like this. I am also trying to get better at ascertaining what kind of subgenre of metal I'm listening to. I'm going to go with that this is just really heavy metal. 
I'm not not sure specifically on the genre. The video is very, very spooky. I'm really enjoying the sound of that note that's kind of going da 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 Oh my god! I, I need to stop, not just because it's very frightening. <laughs> I, I mean, this is something else I will say. Some of you uh, very sweetly come into the comments and you say, Melissa, maybe you should listen to like this band or that band and you'll mention something that's more like Roots music. Um, I'm, I'm not for a minute saying that I know all bands, just that if you mention something that's in the Roots side of music, like jazz and blues, I'm prob I probably know who it is. Um, I listen to a lot of jazz. I particularly love Charles Mingus. Um, and time signatures are definitely something in jazz that um, they fluctuate and they can be really wildly hard to follow at times. This is quite, this, this changed very suddenly and it took me a minute to readjust. Um, I know that one of the things that uh, Levi and other metalheads have told me to do is to listen to the China, which every drummer has some kind of personal vendetta against because they are hit and utter <laughs> out of it. I support it, I support it. You get that rage out, you get that. It's not good to hold rage in your body. Take it out on the drum kit. Yeah, so it's, it's taken me, it's like a gear shift. I've got, my brain is, I would say my brain is lagging about four bars behind at all times at the moment on everything because it's such an assault to me and I know it's not an assault to you and I know that as we go along, much like the vocals, I'm going to get used to hearing it and then I'll be able to hear more detail but at the moment I am, I think I'm about four bars behind. When it comes to the vocals, that's sort of, it's very open, wow, 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 wow. I'm getting better at hearing the difference between, I think, false chord, fry, and what I would define as squall. I'm getting better at it, it's still, it's still kind of tricky. Um, but this, this, this vocalist, Jens, Jens, Jens or Jens? I'm gonna call them Kidman, just so that I don't upset anyone. Because apparently I'm very f***ing <laughs> at that. Anyway, um, yeah, Kidman, um, it's all very open, it feels very long, it feels very um, belty, which is interesting. Because up until now I've not noticed if anyone's been belting. Ha! Huh. A new thing. Let's keep going. Yeah. 
it's like belting. I might have had a realization about something to do with metal singing and my mind is blown. Ba-bow! Ow! <sighs> okay. Mind officially blown. Oh my f***ing god, I've just realised something. That's really cool. Vocals, uh, as the vocals I understand are obviously soul, soul vocals, roots vocals. So, I, 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 so I've definitely sang things like jazz, blues, soul for most of my career, at least 15 years. How I understand belt is comes from a very chest place. It's incredibly resonant and it, it requires a lot of support. Nine times out of ten when you're belting in soul music, you're usually up above your passaggio, which is the bridge in your voice that goes from your chest to your head. Um, but most good soul singers are able to pull their chest up in past their passaggio into their higher register. I think that what this singer is doing is he's belting and using all of the support and function and mechanics of belting and he's engaging squall, which is what I would use for gospel singing, and he's engaging it on an incredibly high note. Oh, oh, that's very interesting. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm, 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 I'm having a conniption over here. Eight bars for me, my Huh. It was absolutely a full-on assault. <laughs> I think that listening to metal, I mean, it's, it's a lot like anything else, really. If you spend your entire life listening to metal, something like this will not be an assault. Just like I've said this before, if you listen to your whole life, listen to Bebop, as I have, Bebop's not an assault on me. To some people, it's completely exhausting and they don't want to listen to it. Or they just say, oh... Bebop, it's just so much a noise, isn't it? No, no, it's not. Just because you don't hear it doesn't mean it's not. Um, and it's this, it's this. I would say that this kind of metal music is the metal equivalent of bebop. It's just, there's a lot going on. And I think when you're not used to it, it feels very, very intense. I do think the vocals are fascinating in that. I'm going to have to listen to them several times now because I think I've realised something. The vocalist Kidman uses a very open space that I can understand. It feels belty, it feels supported, incredibly supported, because that is something I will say. A lot of the voices that I've heard up until now, the dramatic nature of what they're doing is really like, ooh, but most of them I can't hear how they're supporting and if they're supporting, which is really frustrating for me because if people were to sing for want of a better word, normally, I can almost immediately hear if that person's supporting or not, just from years and years of practice. Um, with this, I can hear he's supporting. I can absolutely hear it, and that's the first time I've been able to, been able to hear it. 
I don't mind. I don't mind this song. I wouldn't say it's the kind of music that I would track down to listen to, if I'm honest. It is so intense. But I really enjoyed that fluctuation of the note at the start. Um, of the da 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 I love that. There were some synthy, vibey noises going on that I really enjoyed. Bringing it all down at the end as well to that sort of very simplistic do 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 do. That was an interesting choice, and I don't know if it necessarily suited what was going on in the music video. Pointless. Yeah, really interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you would categorise Bleed. Let me know what you think of these vocals. Also, when it comes to things like time signatures, is that something that you guys are even aware of when you're listening to it? Or has it become something that's just part of your regular rotation so you don't realise or notice when it happens? I'd be really interested to know. Um, my hat goes off to you, Mushiga. Um... I didn't know what I was expecting. I expected it to be all just frightening and awful. And it, <laughs> and it wasn't frightening and awful. I mean, it was frightening. It was frightening. And it was intense. And I certainly, I'm, I'm not going to put on my sugar and then do some yoga. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Never, for any reason. But yeah, really interesting. Go forth, my dudes. Have a wonderful day. Learn a skill. Walk the dog and drop some acid and crank the hog. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Ahoy, hi.